Welcome back to the News at 9. It's time for Legally Speaking. I'm here with Aaron Rodenbo, Esquire from Garski Hewitt. Thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you, Elena. It's an honor and a privilege to be here with you. All right, so today we're talking about Michigan's no-fault system. So what are some things you should do if you were injured in a motor vehicle accident? One of the things that I tell people assuming that they're injured is to seek medical treatment. I've seen so many people just trying to grin down and bear it, unfortunately, and survive the pain. You need to seek medical treatment assuming that you're injured immediately after an accident. Mm -hmm. So that would be my first recommendation. The other one is as well is to seek out uh, a personal injury attorney such as myself that's experienced with the No Fault Act. All too often people don't un understand that they're entitled to certain benefits such as compensation for your medical bills or wage loss under the No Fault Act. So absolutely seek out an experienced personal injury attorney such as myself. So what should you do when you're reviewing your policy limits? The other thing that I tell people is and recommend, and you probably don't even know this, mm -hmm. and even the viewers at home probably don't even know this, is it's a little term called UMUIM, okay? So it's on your declaratory sheet. It's you under insurance or uninsured coverage. It's designed to kick in assuming that the, the other negligent driver hits you and does not have enough coverage. So absolutely look at your policy for the UMUIM coverage and I would highly recommend based upon your, your situation, having it as high as you can get it for giving your income, so. That's some good tips. All right, so let's talk about pros and cons of no fault insurance system in Michigan. <laughs> That's a good <laughs> question, you put me on the spot. Okay, so one of the pros I would say obviously is uh, the coverage for medical benefits. In the state of Michigan, you're entitled to a lifetime of payments for your medical bills, which is one of the greatest things. I've seen cases dating back to the 1980s where there's, their coverage for the medical bills is still continuing and ongoing. So that's one of the one of the pros of the, the Michigan no fault mm -hmm. system. As far as the cons, we're gonna go con, yeah. con, con. So um, unfortunately there are some medical providers and some people in, in the state of Michigan, unfortunately they do, do take advantage of the system. Some medical providers are pro charging three, four times the amount for a procedure, for instance, a simple MRI. Mm -hmm. But I'm confident that this system in and itself, the Michigan legislature as well as the federal government and even the insurance companies are kicking back against that. All right, some good tips. You know, hopefully you never need to use them. You won't get injured in an accident, but if you do, some things to take note of. Well, yep. thank you so much for being with us today. We appreciate it. It was an honor and privilege. All right, if you at home have any questions about today's segment, make sure to check out the hot link section on WNEM.com.